Hello, graduating class of 2021. My name is Dr. Jill Urich, and I get to serve as the principal here at Centennial. And um, we are excited to be here today to um, present to you some very important information that you need in these final weeks of your high school career here at Ankeny Centennial High School. As we get started, I'm going to ask the rest of the team to introduce themselves, and then we will go through an important PowerPoint of information for you. All right. Hi, everyone. I'm Mrs. Brown or Ashley Brown, one of the school counselors at Centennial. Hi, everybody. I'm Boz, uh, Amy Bozard, and I work with student council. Hi, everybody. I'm Mr. Davenport. I teach science here, and I'm also a co-sponsor of the student council and i'm will dotson serve as a dean of students here at centennial all right so here we go i'm going to show you uh, our powerpoint here i'm going to share my screen so a couple of important dates for you um your last day of school is tuesday may 25th and then you will walk across the stage at Hilton Coliseum Saturday, May 29th at 10 a.m. We have an important calendar of senior events that are happening between now and the end of the year. Um, this calendar is also um, posted on our district website if you need it. We are also going to be sending it out um, along with the recording of this meeting to you via email on Friday, April 9th. And as you look at this, um, we've got um, at the end of April, post-secondary decision day where you get to celebrate um, what your plans are after high school. Uh, we have an exciting senior service day coming up and you're gonna hear more about that in a couple minutes. We have your cap and gown distribution day on May 10th. And then you've got a couple highlighted things that are really important to, to be aware of. Uh, May 21st, by 4 p.m., all of your credit recovery work must be completed. And then, um, as I shared a moment ago, your last day is May 25th. All of your coursework and all your fees and fines, everything needs to be turned in by 4 p.m. on that day in order for you to participate in the commencement exercises. That evening, we'll have a senior spotlight night where we uh, want to celebrate um, your, um, your, your accomplishments, your scholarships, um, and, and what you're doing. So you'll, there's more information coming on that in a moment from Mrs. Brown. And then um, May 27th, that's an important morning. Uh, we have a senior breakfast and um, slideshow for you, and then mandatory 9 a.m. We have commencement practice here in the main gym at Centennial. Um, again, that is mandatory. We need to have you there so we can go through all the important things you need to know before we meet at Hilton Coliseum that Saturday. Um, and as you can see, we're um, we need to be there by 9 a.m. So again, these are all important deadlines. Um, and I just want to take a moment. Um, I know that your teachers have been working with you and communicating deadlines to you and um, all the things that uh, we need to have taken care of in the coming weeks. And those deadlines are real. So just know if you want to participate in commencement exercises, those deadlines of May 21st and May 25th on this calendar, um, those stand. Um, you can certainly earn your diploma after those deadlines. Um, however, you will not be able to participate in the commencement exercise. All right, so some other important things to remember before you leave us um, as you head off to your next adventure after high school is requesting those final transcripts. So all of our final transcript requests must be done through Naviant. So just like we showed you how to request initial transcripts, scripts at the beginning of the school year, you'll need to go back in and request them through Naviance. Again, make sure you click on the final. And then we also ask it that you go in and update um, schools that you were accepted to because it helps students after you know which type of Centennial students uh, were accepted to different schools. 
The other transcript that you may need to request will be your final DMAC transcript, and there's going to be two ways to do that. Um, we will have paper forms available in the counseling office for you to pick up, fill out, and then we'll hold on to those and deliver them to DMAC, and they'll wait to send out your transcript when all of your grades have posted. Otherwise, you can go ahead and request them online. If you choose to request your final DMAC transcripts online through DMAC's website, you're going to want to wait until all of your grades have been posted, and that's generally on or before June 6th. All right, two more things we need you to think about. <clears throat> the exit survey, every senior is gonna need to take an exit survey. It's found in your Naviance uh, login. It's under survey, um, but if you don't have a chance to complete that, uh, the counselors are gonna pop into your English class sometime at the end of May to help you do that. Um, but if you wanna get it done early, go ahead. Um, and then finally is senior spotlight night. So we need you to tell us all the great things that you're being awarded. So make sure that it's all self report. So any scholarships that you've earned, um, you're gonna fill out the form that we're gonna link in Google Classroom for you to do. And the deadline is April 30th. So if you have anything you wanna report and after April 30th, if you filled it out um, and you've earned another award, feel free to, to email Ms. Arnold and she can make sure to tell us about that. But again, it's self report. So you have to tell us um, by filling out the, the Google form and it's due by April 30th. Hey everybody, Senior Service Day, yay! Uh, this is May 7th, it's Friday, and it is a day to give back. We're giving you a break from academic work to give back to the community around you that helps support you and we're there for you. And um, just it's just a day of fun to hang out with your peers and yeah, give back. So what you need, closed toed shoes, sneakers that you can get dirty, clothes that can get dirty, a great attitude, um, some sunscreen, a water bottle. I know that it might be kind of hard to think about warm weather right now, but it's coming. It's coming, you guys. And Senior Service Day is going to be beautiful. So plan on it. And um, uh, once again, just a reminder, a great attitude. We will start at ACHS at 830, and then um, you'll get the chance to go out into the community, stay here, pack meals for meals from the heartland, just kind of take over the scene here around Ankeny and um, just have some fun. And then we're going to have a whole class of barbecue for lunch here at the school. And um, the best part of this is you get to sign up with four other people. So there's a group total of five. And you can only sign up for one group because otherwise Boz gets to pick who friends group you're with. And you don't want that because maybe I will pick the wrong one. I don't know. So just sign up with one group with four other people. And those slips will be outside my room, which is room 1102, starting in April 12th. And then you will have until the 19th to turn those in. So pick them up on the 12th, turn them in by the 19th. Does everybody, or the 16th, does everybody have their phones out? Because there are a lot of dates flying around right now. Lots of due date stuff. I'm really glad this is being recorded and it's written down because you're going to need to go back and watch it. So get those groups signed up so that you can make sure that you're with a peer. All right, another question that we have gotten all school year at the student council level is when are we doing RTP? Um, that specific to be determined, but we are still planning on doing that. So here's some information about that this year. Um, we are going to allow teams of 10 students and it's gonna be $12 per person, just like it has been every year. Um, but we do have a few changes involved this year, as you see here on this slide. So um, as always, you will have one team captain that is in charge of paying attention to announcements, making sure that they get all of their forms and details uh, aligned as we go throughout uh, the process of signing up, getting t-shirts, learning about uh, times and, and where to go. Um, you are also in charge of selecting one teacher or staff sponsor to follow you guys around that night. Um, this year, we are limiting the teams to seniors only. So we are asking that no juniors or sophomores will participate. Um, and if we find any juniors or sophomores on your team, we will not uh, be allowing your team to participate and no re refunds are given. Um, we are also asking masks will be required the entire time or you will be asked to leave without a refund as well. And due to uh, space limitations, we don't want any spectators. 
on the fields, meaning we don't want parents following you guys around. We will have plenty of people to take pictures, including Mr. Hans and, and CP. So don't worry about having your picture taken. There will be cameras out. Um, like I said, the date is to be announced. We are looking for a possible time where uh, we have minimal conflicts with senior events. Um, but like the senior service forms, you will find signed up forms outside of Boz's room 1102, and that is just directly to your left when you walk in the main doors. You can also pick those up in the main office. Um, and we are asking that when those forms come out, you get them back within one week uh, with your money, which would be $120 total. And again, return those to room 1102, not to the office, because we need to keep track of that money. Um, and if you have anybody writing checks, please make the checks out to ACHS Student Council. We would prefer cash, but if uh, checks are the only option for somebody on your team, you can bring those. And then the last thing we need to say um, rules wise is do not change your shirts when you get them. No cutting them up, no ripping them up, no uh, pump paint, nothing goes on those. You need to keep your shirt intact uh, the way you receive it. So, again, be listening for announcements for when those forms are available and when we'll be hosting that event. Get excited! <laughs> hey, so Mr. Dotson here. I just wanted to go over a couple things here for Silver Cord requirements. Um, we want to give you um, the honor that you deserve for the wonderful volunteering experiences that you took part in. Um, it's a pretty hard deadline for May 3rd, so if you could double check that, um, get your hours in. Remember, just need to complete 120 hours over the course of the three years here at Centennial. Um, if it's a little bit of a challenge, see me and I'm willing to work with you with everything that's COVID related. Um, some opportunities have been a little bit more difficult to come by. So if you're if you're struggling with that, let me know and I'm more than willing to work with you. Um, if you could do me a favor, uh, there's just been a little bit of um, pass back and forth here a little bit as far as who's been in charge of Silver Cord. So again, we wanna give you the most hours that you've earned. Um, please do um, me a favor, though, and double check your Infinite Campus. So if you go to Infinite Campus, there's a silver cord tab. Um, go ahead and check your hours. Make sure that they're correct. If they're not correct, please go ahead and see me. And I'm more than willing to do anything I can to help you. And thanks a lot for all your service. All right, so I'm going to touch on just a few more points as we wrap up. Um, you know, I, there's there's three important components to being in what we call good standing for commencement. And it's important that we just take a moment and go over those. Um, because what I would wanna say is, you have all worked so hard to be where you are. And um, I know I can speak for all the adults that I get to work with every day in that um, everyone really wants to give you all a spring, um, as normal as possible in a year of a pandemic. And really we're trying uh, diligently in celebrating you, our seniors, um, as we uh, uh, move forward in the, the coming days and weeks and approach um, commencement at Hilton. Here's what we need to happen. We need everybody to stay in the game between now and the end of the year. And that involves these three things um, in order for you to celebrate with your loved ones, your family, your friends, um, all these people that have been with you as you've gone through school. So first and foremost, enrollment. Um, you've been enrolled in at least six credits MPE. Um, and assuming that you pass all of your current courses and that you've met all the graduation requirements that we have in Ankeny schools, you're eligible to participate in the commencement ceremony. Secondly, the second component, we talk about discipline. So um, I, I'm not gonna take the time to read this, but I'll, I'll pause for a moment so that you can read it. So as we approach commencement, it's important that we all stay um, on top of the expectations of conduct in our handbook and according to um, board policy, 
um, thinking about the student conduct and good conduct policies that we have and your attendance, uh, just keep coming every day and doing your work. And also advising you against any type of senior skip day or senior pranks, um, anything like that. What we wouldn't want to happen is a slip up um, in anything pertaining in this slide that would prevent you from participating in the commencement ceremony. Next, we have fines. Any fines or fees do need to be paid for by their deadline in order for you to participate in commencement, or we need to have a plan in place of how those things will be paid. If you need to make up, or excuse me, if you want to come up with a plan, please either see your Dean of Students, your Associate Principal, or me, and we can come up with a plan together. But again, those need to be taken care of and communicated before the deadline in order for you to participate. So if you have any questions, um, your counselors, your deans of students, your associate principals, um, we are all here to help answer any questions or support you in these final days as you approach graduation. We are so proud of you and it is such a privilege to be here with you every day. And um, again, we're, we're walking through this with you and let's just do this. We've got this Jaguars, we've got this. Thank you. Woo! 2021, baby, here we come.